Okay, so we're talking about World Holy Name Week. And of course, uh, chanting the Holy Name is the Yuga Dharma. Uh, the Yuga Avatar, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, appeared approximately 500 years ago to teach this Yuga Dharma. It's a non-sectarian process. Of course, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu stated that Krishna has invested all of his transcendental potency in his names, and of course he has hundreds and millions of names. And the most potent name is Krishna. And the most potent way of chanting Krishna's name is the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And the most potent way of chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is utilizing the process of Sankirtan. Now, Sankirtan means to chant congregationally. It also means to chant in a very intense way. So when we chant congregationally, we're actually giving the holy name to the public. And this is called uh, the process of a Sankirtan or the process of Harinam Sankirtan. So World Holy Name Week enables us to concentrate on this most important process, uh, purifying the whole world, and at the same time, pleasing all the previous acharyas, especially His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada, who started this Krishna consciousness movement simply by chanting on Harinam. He came to New York and chanted in this place called Tompkins Square Park. And even though he was surrounded by all these hippies and other personalities that we cannot mention, they became purified by chanting the holy names. And as Prabhupada said, it was a miracle. He was able to change the hippies into happies. So if one hears the holy names, even without understanding what the meaning of the holy names are, then still one will become purified. Of course, this is called Nama Bash. One will become purified and then become a candidate later on for taking up Krishna consciousness. I also personally experienced this. The first contact I had with the holy names was uh, when I heard Srila Prabhupada chanting on the radio. This was something like 1968 or 69. When I heard this chanting, it attracted me very much and I recorded it and played it over and over again for myself. And this was the first thing that implanted the Bhakti Lata Bij in my heart. So by going out and chanting the holy names congregationally, we are implanting the Bhakti Lata Bij or the creeper of devotion or seed of devotion in everyone's heart. And eventually when people hear the holy names, they will become devotees. So this will be very, very pleasing to His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada. Thank you very much.